but it is Wednesday, October 26th. Welcome back to the vlog. So today I had to go to the bank because I had to change my name on my bank account because, you know, it's been a while since I've actually legally changed my name, so it was time. And it turned out to be kind of an involved process, and not because of my name change. That part was pretty simple, but because of fees and the way that checking accounts are being structured now, and as it turns out, like, fees do not apply nationwide. Like, I have a nationwide bank. I'm not going to tell you which one, because that would be dumb. Uh, but they go from state to state. So because the accounts that I have were set up in California, I was about to start being charged a monthly fee, even though Oregon does not charge that fee for its accounts. So even though I'm an Oregon resident and I live here, because I opened my account there, I was going to get charged their fees, so I had to open whole new checking and savings accounts to, to save money because otherwise I was going to get charged like 15 bucks a month for this account. Unless, you know, I managed to keep a, a minimum balance of something like $7,500, and seriously, I wish I could afford to keep a minimum balance of $7,500 in my bank account. I, you know, that would be nice, but I'm not there yet. So I had to open a whole new checking account and a whole new savings account, and I got to learn all about the new fees for ATM and debit card transactions that are being charged. And I will say that I'm not going through Bank of America, so I don't know what Bank of America's fee plan is. But I was, I was prepared to be, you know, righteously indignant about the idea of being charged for using my ATM card and stuff. And it turns out it's, it's, I'm not that worked up about it. Because the way that they explained it to me is that you get charged once a month, a $3 fee, if you use your ATM slash debit card at something that is not an ATM. So like, if you go to the bank's ATM and take cash out, that's free and you don't get charged that $3 that month. But if you use your debit card at like, the grocery store, then you get a $3 charge. And it's just one $3 charge per month. I thought that it was gonna be like $3 per transaction and who can afford that? But no, it's a one $3 charge a month. And I, I can't get worked up about that. I, I feel like I should. I feel like I should be like, this is the incentive that I need to take my business to a local credit union. Yay. Except that it's not. Because I'll, I will gladly pay $3 a month to have the convenience of not having to make a separate trip to the bank to get cash and then go to the store. Because that, I would use that money in gas anyway, if I were to drive. So I would use that money in a transit pass. Maybe. Somehow. The money would get used somehow if I were to take, you know, it, it, it evens out in the end, I think. And, and while I definitely want to encourage people to support local credit unions and local businesses and local economies, because I'm, I'm big on that, but at the same time, I've been with my bank since 1997, and I enjoy a nice, long, positive history with them. And that will make it easier in the future should I ever want to apply for things like mortgages or credit cards. And so I can't, I can't use the $3 fee to warrant switching my bank entirely. But that makes me feel like I'm a bad patriot because I hear all these stories of people going down to the Occupy wherever they're at and especially the poor people in Oakland who are being beaten by police officers and abused. And I want to stand tall with them and be like, I support you, but I do, I support them standing up for what they believe in, but from what my limited knowledge is of this whole Occupy movement was, it started out because of bank fees, and my particular bank fee to me is not that big of a deal. You see, you see how easy it is to get like worked up and like, I don't know what to think about any of it. It's so complicated. But you know, at the end of the day, I have a new checking account and a new savings account and my personal banker was really, really nice. And my name is correct now on all of that stuff. And I get to order new checks. And I was thinking about ordering Hello Kitty checks, you know, just cause I can. I don't know if I will, but I could, just because I can. And I see that I am at my time limit that I have set for myself, so I'm going to stop talking and let you guys sort out that whole what socially responsible stuff. And I will talk to all of you again tomorrow. Thank you, as always, for watching. Thank you for your patience while I talked in circles. And that's it. See you guys tomorrow.